So at the top here, you drop stuff. What's up YouTube, welcome back to Wacto eSig. Interesting product to review today. This is the iVogo Velocity Tank. A lot of interest around this one and for good reason. It is very interesting. It takes the design of the old school Genesis style atomizer but instead of using stainless steel mesh as wicking, it's made for using cotton to wick it. A few tanks around like this right now, not too many on the market. There's the avocado tank which is similar by Geek Vape and the 4D RTA by H Cigar. This is just another one by Ivogo and it's utilizing the dripper section of the Velocity RDA and then the bottom part is a tank. So yeah, if you enjoy the Velocity, you're gonna like this one. Without wasting any more of your time, let's go down up close and look at it. So here we have the Ivogo Velocity uh, tank. Uh, you can see at the bottom here, it's uh, larger than 22 millimeters. Um, I believe it's at least 23 millimeters, so if you're putting it on a mech or something, depends what you put it on, might look good, might look kind of wonky. Uh, it tapers down, and then you get the regular velocity part of the tank. So uh, they're branding this as an authentic iVogo product, and the top part of this is not authentic. I mean, it's the velocity deck, um, pretty much, and the whole design is of the velocity by Avid Vapor. So... Uh, I don't know it's tough because this whole bottom part and adding it on it's uh it's proprietary right um and yeah it's it's not on the original so this is pretty interesting not sure how to class this whole entire thing um you get the regular threaded in velocity chuff kind of tip and this can be switched out for an adapter so you can put in your own drip tips but i prefer when using this, uh, it's kind of designed for a lot of airflow and stuff like that, so I prefer to have this chuff top. The airflow, exactly the same as the Velocity, very smooth, and you get your direct airflow. If you don't know about the Velocity, they have the direct airflow, which is that slot there, and when you twist this, it opens up. And then you get your indirect airflow, which are these holes, and you get a smiley face, or you can close them off. So, yeah, then the airflow goes directly through, which you can see right there popping off the top very strong o-rings it's very nice and tight um, and this is the build that I have in here it's a quad vertical build and it's a pretty crazy build for for what this is but when it comes to this Genesis style uh, I like vertical coils so that's what I put in there along with uh, Dylan from work so shout out to Dylan for helping me out with this one at the bottom you can see that there is a interesting looking deck to this so that is not on the authentic obviously um, it's white it looks like Delrin it has a couple machining marks on there it's not perfect I took a screwdriver to this when I first got it to kind of take out the excess bits of Delrin that were hanging about but yeah I, I would have preferred to see that in peak or something um, you can see underneath each coil there is a hole and that's where your cotton will go through to wick up the juice in this part, the tank. And then in the middle there, there is a hole for filling the tank. Now, these are vertical coils so there's pretty easy access to that. But with a horizontal coil, it blocks that hole and makes it very difficult to fill. Additionally, there's only one of those holes. So when these uh, cotton holes are filled and you try and fill it with that small hole, there's no way for the air to escape so it kind of just gurgles up and makes it difficult to fill as well so poor design on that um, if they had added at least another hole that would have made things a lot easier but the best way I've found is to just take out one strand of the cotton drop your dropper in and fill it up um, not the best system but that's all I got for now so taking this ring you can unscrew it very simply and then you can push up the glass and it's kind of wet right now so let me try and get this off okay so the glass comes off just like that um, and then you can see up into your juice flow holes and stuff like that and clean this out if you want to pretty good um, basic Genesis kind of style now when this part screws back on 
you want to first make sure that your glass is pushed down past that o-ring so that it makes the seal and I think they should have added another o-ring underneath here underneath this ring and on top of the glass because um, you don't want to crank this down too tight and crack the glass and you want to make sure that there's a seal so yeah I mean that o-ring at the top there kind of does the job but I would have liked to see a smaller o-ring right there uh, you get your notch right there and inside there so you get the standard velocity uh, airflow kind of locking system where you put that on twist it and it locks into place and then it's not going to go anywhere when you adjust the airflow and that's about it so let me put in some cotton and fill it up and then we'll go and vape on it okay so here we have the velocity tank all ready to be wicked up I'm just twisting up a piece of cotton right now and obviously we're going to need four different pieces of cotton um, so twisting up this cotton even though I have cleaned my hands and I'm ready to to touch cotton um, I don't want that piece to be used in the tank because the only the tip of that cotton is what's going to be inside of the tank um, so I'm just going to twist that through and once it's through enough I'm going to take these tweezers and just pull that cotton out the side like that then I can pull this through get it past that point where uh, I've touched up the cotton line it up with there I'm gonna line it up to about that o-ring then take my scissors and try and do this on camera and cut right there and now I can I can get a better idea of where I want to cut it so then I can easily just take that cotton push it back into the deck and work its way into that hole uh, it's not the easiest thing to do especially on camera but I mean it's not it's not that hard considering it's just a hole that you need to get the cotton into and you want to be careful about how much you put into there because if you put too much it's not gonna wick properly so um, yeah it's it's tough getting that balance but I found about what I have there has been working pretty well so now I'll just cut this I tend to cut this at an angle you don't want too much at the top but just a little bit to make sure the cotton is is not gonna dry out too much at the top and that should be fine so we'll do this uh, three more times and see how it goes Okay, now I mentioned that it's going to be tough to fill with all the cotton filled in, so I left one open. I'm going to take some of this juice. This is 416 Hard Lemonade. Uh, I'm using this because, well, it's good juice, but it's also 70% VG. And I don't want to use anything too thick because uh, it's wicking upwards. And, yeah, some too thick of a juice can make it tough. So this is where it gets pretty tough so you can see that I can't really fit in there so I'm just gonna kinda angle it and see if this works and you can see it filling up through the bottom so it's not ideal but it'll get the job done okay now you can see that's filled up I'm just gonna treat this like a regular dripper now and add some juice onto the coils and the wicks okay so I'll add the last bit of cotton and we'll go and vape it so that's what it was up close um, pros and cons very simple the pros first of all it's the velocity one of the best drippers in my opinion when I first got the velocity clone um, I said that it was most likely, if not the best RDA I've ever purchased. At the time, it was. But as time goes on, uh, my flavor preferences changed, the amount of vapor I like to vape changed, and now I'm more comfortable with a very, very restricted lung hit, something like this. That doesn't create as much vapor and gets me a more dense, flavorful vape. But if you're someone that still likes to vape the Velocity and those huge airflow uh, dripper tanks, stuff like that, you're really going to like this one. So it's the Velocity. I mean, it's really simple to build. 
the airflow is nice and the flavor is surprisingly good for the amount of airflow it has. The tank on the bottom is definitely a pro because you don't have to re-drip. It's basically having a dripper that you can walk around with and know that you're not going to have to re-drip. With that said, the tank is not the biggest tank in the world, so it's not going to last you the entire day, especially vaping something like this, like at 40 to 70 watts, something like that. It's going to drink through the juice, but it's still better than having to re-drip all the time. As far as the cons go, the build quality is nice, but uh, I have seen better. That Delrin deck, I wish they had used something a bit more stable, a bit more heat resistant, um, just stuff like that. Delrin is not necessarily my favorite thing to have inside of a deck. The fill holes. Now, I'm happy that they gave one fill hole at least because if you look at something like the Avocado by Geek Vape, there are no extra fill holes, but it doesn't make sense to only have one because the air can't escape anywhere, so you may as well not even have that hole. What I've been doing is just taking out that cotton sticking in the the bottle juice tip whatever it is and squeezing in my juice and that's been working okay for me uh, not the best system in the world but again it's giving you the ability to take your dripper out without having to take a bottle and it, I really like that vapor production clearly impressive um, and the flavor again just as good as the original Velocity. It basically vapes exactly like my Velocity, I just don't have to re-drip all the time. You will notice that when I vape it, I basically turn it upside down. And for you logical people, it's pretty obvious why I'm doing that. Uh, the juice is at the bottom and the coils are at the top. So in order to keep a consistent wick and make sure I'm not getting any dry hits, making sure that the cotton is wicking properly, turn it upside down and the juice is definitely gonna be touching that cotton. That could be a con for a lot of people. Uh, for me, I like the the style of Genesis atomizers. Um, most of the time, I tilt my, my device a bit anyway, but for this case, if you tilt it one way all the time, uh, one half is gonna get wicked and the other half is not going to get wicked. So uh, the best bet is to every now and then just kind of wave it around, make sure it's, it's going upside down, getting that cotton wicked up and you're not gonna have a problem. Now I've found that vertical coils have been wicking the best in this. Horizontal coils, if it's not very power hungry, you're not really gonna have a problem. And if your cotton is not super tight in your coil, it's not gonna have a problem wicking up. But if you put something like a dual fuse Clapton, something that I would be happy to put in my Velocity RDA, if you put it in this, uh, the coils are just gonna get too hot to, to wick up the juice fast enough. That's just my opinion, but yeah, I if you're into vaping that kind of stuff all the time, maybe not for you. So who's this for? I think this is personally for the people who like to take their dripper everywhere because now they can, but they don't have to be re-dripping all the time. That's pretty much it. Um, the tank at the bottom doesn't add to flavor, doesn't add to vapor doesn't add to any of that good stuff and if you're not into the whole tapering down kind of uh, aesthetic look of it you may not like this but yeah if you're someone that likes to walk around with a dripper or just hates having to re-drip all the time with a dripper this is definitely an option one last pro is the price now let me go on to 3f vape where I got this and double check on the price because the price is very afford affordable. If I'm not mistaken, it's um, it was 15 US, and that is a fantastic price for for this. So yeah, 14.99 US dollars for this coming from 3F Vape. For the e-packet shipping, I paid an extra maybe four US dollars. Not the biggest deal, but it did take a very long time to get here. It took around a month to get to Canada. Uh, that's something that you have to challenge yourself with. I mean, you're ordering from China, sometimes it can take 10 days, sometimes it can take 10 weeks. It varies all the time, you kinda just have to take the chance. What I do is that if I'm buying something from China, I know for a fact that I don't need that thing. I buy things from China that I kind of want, that would be cool to get in. If they come quickly, more power to me. If they don't, not that big of a deal, so yeah. If you don't want to wait from China, 
I actually found them for sale in Canada. Sorry for you US watchers and UK watchers and Asian watchers. Um, I'm not exactly sure where they'll be available, but uh, rebuildable atomizers. E-cigarettes.ca in Canada has them for sale for $34.99. So a bit more pricey, but you, you get the benefit added that potentially you can go in if you're living in the Toronto area, you can go in, take a look at it yourself and see if it's something that you would want. And also if you're just ordering it online, it's gonna come a lot quicker than ordering it from China. So yeah, that's another place. The picture that um, Albert has on his website, ecigarettes.ca, it is different from this. He has a black one in the picture with what looks like the Cthulhu Mods logo on it. I don't know, but it says Velocity RTA by iVogo and it's the same thing so yeah completely up to you where you get it if you get it doesn't really matter to me I'm just happy that you know about it now and that's about it so thank you so much for watching I'll see you again soon and I apologize but no one has claimed the Plumes of Hazard e-liquid line so not gonna happen another giveaway will come eventually